Okay, so looking at a problem like this, ooh, running out, it's close on time. Um, basically, ladies and gentlemen, now we're going to get into, uh, <laughs> now we're going to get into division. All right, and now division, ladies and gentlemen, is very, very simple. It, Mariana, hold on. Just like we had a conversation earlier today, just hold on. If you have something, I'll be more than happy to um, assist you with it. So basically, ladies and gentlemen, what I like to do is just kind of go through a little bit of a review from what we went over at the beginning of the class. Um, Sheldon, the act is getting really, really old right now. Meaning that should be put away. Yes, thank you very much. So I'm just going to do a quick little review um, for Q. If you have 3 fourths times 2 fifths, and we need to multiply those fractions, if you guys remember, basically when we were multiplying fractions, we just multiplied directly across. So therefore, we had 6 over 20, right? And this is something we learned at the very, very beginning. We did like tons of rotations, had you guys moving all along um, and doing that. Then the next thing is we, looked, we talked about division. And if we're going to divide two fractions, basically what we did was we said, well, instead of dividing, what we do is we multiply by the reciprocal. Guys? As we do, what we do is we take our divisor, which is the, which is the value uh, or the number that we're dividing into the other number, and we, mul and we flip that to, well, it's a reciprocal. And that's what we multiply the reciprocal by, is our divisor, not our dividend, which is, being, which is the number that's being divided by. OK? <laughs> So in this case, ladies and gentlemen, the first step we're going to do, if you guys remember when multiplying, the first step we did was simplify. Here, our first step is we're going to reciprocate our divisor. And that's really it. Ah. OK, now that we have everything simplified, or now that we've divided it, you guys can see that. Again, I only have multiplication between these terms. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of rewrite everything right next to each other. Now, before I even do that, though, I notice, can I simplify 12 over 24? Yes. Yeah. yeah, I could simplify that as, how about 1 half? Yes. yes, does that seem fairly easy to simplify? Yes. And then let's look at, what about 7 over 21? Can I simplify that? Yeah. 1 third, right? So now, let's go and rewrite this with the numbers, and then x is over x is y is over y. So 1 times 1 is just 1, times x to the fourth, times y to the fourth, divided by 2 times 3, which is 6, um, x, y to the fifth. Okay. So I like to do the numbers. I don't like to multiply and then divide. I like to simplify the numbers. But now, is it fairly easy for me to see what my final solution is? So if I, apply my, if I apply my rules of exponents, I'm going to have um, x to the fourth, x to the fourth minus 1, which will be x, or x to the third on the numerator. And here I'll have y to the fourth minus 5, which will be negative 1. So since it will be negative 1 in the numerator, it's gonna, the y is going to have to go in the denominator. So my final answer will be x to the third divided by 6y. Yes. And then again, in this case, y <coughs> cannot equal 0. So you would like to use the restroom facility.